Okay, let's start looking at our text. The title is The Incredibles. Hmm, you might know the adjective Shem Toar, incredible, madhim. But here the writer uses it as a noun. So, the Incredibles, ha madhimim. That's interesting. Who are these madhimim? Let's check another eye-catching feature at the top of this page. The heading, Special Report, Enhanced Humans. Enhanced humans, enhanced meshupa or meshudrag, humans anashim. אז יש לנו אנשים משופרים או משודרגים? מה זה אומר? It sounds like the Incredibles are these enhanced humans. They are probably incredible. Now, the first question that comes to mind is, who are these people or what makes them so incredible? So here's our question. What makes the Incredibles so incredible? Describe what makes these people special and read the information under the title. Press pause and come back when you're done. Here you are. Let's zoom in on the information under the title. Let's start with the first sentence. They're here and walking among us. Hmm, who are they? People with technologically enhanced senses. This is a noun phrase. It means we need to translate into Hebrew from the last word. Technologically enhanced senses, חושים שמשופרים באמצעים טכנולוגיים. כלומר, יש לנו כאן אנשים שיש להם חושים המשופרים באמצעים טכנולוגיים. בואו נמשיך ונראה איך הם משופרים. Superhuman bodies, גוף על אנושי. And artificially sharpened minds, another noun phrase. Let's translate from the end. מוחות מחודדים באופן מלאכותי. מה זה אומר? You might have heard the expression a sharp mind, meaning very smart. מתכוונים למישהו מבריק. So we can answer our question. What makes the Incredibles so incredible? We can say technologically enhanced senses, superhuman bodies, and artificially sharpened minds. Whoa, is this real? I mean, do these people really exist? האם אנחנו מדברים על אנשים אמיתיים או שזה מדע בדיוני? And this is our next question. Are enhanced humans or the Incredibles a fantasy or a reality? Base your answer on the following eye-catching features. Go back to the sentence under the title, look at the picture, and read the enlarged quotes. Press pause and come back when you're ready. You're back. Let's see. In the beginning of the sentence we read, they're here and walking among us. This sounds like reality. But still, it's not clear. It also says, the first human to reach a happy, healthy 150th birthday may have already been born. Wow. This might be me or even you. Let's finish reading the sentence under the title. And that's just the start of it. Are you ready for your upgrade? Asks Graham Lawton. It sounds like this is happening now. And Graham Lawton is the name of the writer. But we're still a bit confused. Is our writer talking about reality or fantasy? So let's zoom in on the picture and see if it can help us understand. The picture does look like science fiction. It looks like computer chips coming out of someone's head. Let's check what the enlarged quote next to it says. We're not talking about some distant sci-fi future. Okay, this is reality. Let's look at the second and large quote. I believe our descendants will look at our lives with pity. Probably they will look at our lives with pity, because of future technology. 
the same way children today can't understand how we grew up without smartphones. We are talking about some technological progress that is happening now and will change our lives in the future. Let's zoom in on the last and large quote. No one should confidently bet against any form of scientific progress. Scientific progress, kidma madait. Altogether, this doesn't sound like fantasy. Some of you may have noticed the source, New Scientist. Only science-related issues would be published in this journal. So this is scientific. It's also dated 2006, so it's pretty recent. Some of you may have noticed the box on the second page. We have the technology. This is very clear. Now we can answer our question. And our answer is reality. Let's go back to this interesting box on the second page. We have the technologies. Which technologies do we have? Let's check this together. Let's look at just a few, just to get an idea. Drugs, the power to enhance physical performance using drugs such as steroids. Steroidim, kulanu shamanu al ze. Cognition. The power to alter, לשנות, cognition, including memory, mood, appetite, libido, and attention, through psychoactive drugs. Hmm, sounds familiar? נשמע מוכר? כולנו מכירים תרופות שיכולות לשנות זיכרון וקשב, אולי כמו ריטלין? So let's sum it up for now. What is the text about? What are the main topics of the text? The text will discuss people who are enhanced, they have special abilities, and that's why they are incredible. The text will discuss the technologies for enhancement of humans, human enhancement technologies. Technologiot l'shidrug anashim. Now, in our first lesson, we saw that this is going to be an argument text. Text sheyutzag bo tiun, o diun. In this text, the writer will present arguments in favor or against human enhancement technology. So, our question is, based on the section headings, predict one argument in favor and one argument against Human Enhancement Technologies. You can present your answer this way, argument in favor and argument against. Pay attention to positive or negative words and expressions. Press pause and come back when you're done. Okay, you're back. Let's see. Let's zoom in on the first section heading, The Coming Revolution. So it sounds like there's going to be a revolution and that human enhancing technology will bring big changes to our lives. Changes can be good or bad. So it's not clear if this is an argument against or an, or an argument in favor of human enhancing technology. Now let's have a look at the second section heading, unprecedented growth. Whoa, so we have growth and like nothing we have seen in the past. Growth is a very positive word. This can definitely be an argument in favor. And in the third section heading, we can read Life transformed. Transformation. Shinui the filu shinui tsura. The shinui gadol. So our lives will be totally different. And we get to the final section heading, liberation or slavery. Shichru or avdut. Hmm. Here we have something different. We have a question. It sounds like the writer is wondering if all these changes will bring liberation or slavery. If we will have more freedom, we'll be more free 
or we will be more dependent, tluim. So it seems that we have a conflict between something positive, liberation, and something negative, slavery. Well, we have enough information to answer our question. Argument in favor, it can bring growth, progress, and liberation. Argument against, it can bring slavery or dependence. So we are ending our lesson. What did we learn today? We learned that the text will be about enhanced humans, the Incredibles, that the text will describe technologies used to enhance humans, and we learned that the text will present arguments in favor and against human enhancement technology. And how did we learn this? By looking at the eye-catching features. See how much we can learn from the eye-catching features? Amazing! In the next lesson, we will do some skimming to learn more about these technologies, and we will see what the writer thinks about them.